Hello there, and welcome to Mission 3, Lesson 36. Our student objective for this lesson is to multiply two digit by two digit numbers using four partial products. So what we're going to look at today is multiplying a two digit by a two digit number. And I'm actually going to show you the area model way to do that. So let's take a look at a couple examples and how we can solve some two digit by two digit multiplication problems. Okay, so if we had a two digit by two digit multiplication equation, such as this, it could be 42 times 54. So we see it's a two digit by two digit because there's two digits in 42 and there's two digits in 54. Now, how can we use this area model or partial products to solve this equation? Well, remember what we did when it was a two digit by one digit with a multiple of 10, and we looked at the area model way. It's the same principle, we're just adding a second row here because now it's a two digit by two digit and it's not a multiple of 10. But we're gonna break it down, each one the same way. So 42, I'm gonna break down into my tens and my ones. 42 is made up of what? Well, 42 is made up of 40 and two, 40 and two. 54 is then made up of 50 and 4. 50 and 4. Okay, That's 54 broken up as 50 and 4. 42 broken up as 40 and 2. Now, do you see how I labeled it? I gave each of the boxes like off to the side there. 40 and 2, 50 and 4. Now, does it matter which order you put them in? If you'd put the 2 there and the 40 there, that's, that's still going to work. Or if you put a, the 4 there and the 50 there, it's still going to work as long as you follow these next rules. So all you're going to do now to solve this is you're going to take, you're going to look, and I'm going to say 50 times 40, write the answer here, and then 50 times 2, write the answer here. And then I go to the second row and I do 4 times 40, write the answer here. 4 times 2, write the answer here. And then I'll just add them up. So let's do that. So for this first one, I do 50 times 40. So I'm going over and up. 50 times 40. Well, 5 times 4 is 20. And then I need to put those two zeros on from the 50 and the 40. So 2,000. So you notice how I just wrote in the box right there? 50 times 40 is 2,000. Now I'm going to go 50 times 2. Well, 50 times 2 is... 5 times 2 is 10, plus that other 0 is 100. So 100 right there. Now I go to the second row, and I say, okay, 4 times 40. So now I'm doing the same thing, but now I'm just using 4. 4 times 40. So over and up. Oh, what's 4 times 40? Well, 4 times 4 is 16. And then I need to put 1 0 on because I'd taken off that 1 0 and 40. So 160, and then I do 4 over and up times 2. 4 times 2. Well, 4 times 2 is 8. All right. So now I have four different partial products, four different numbers for when I broke that up. Now, what do you think I need to do to solve this to get my final product? What was that? I. You add them all up, Mr. Morrison. I add them up. That is correct, whoever said that. Thank you so much. Okay, so I just like to look at each row because I know 2,000 plus 100 is 2,100. And then 160 plus 8 is 168. So notice I just, I added up each row. That's the way I did it here. I just went this. 2,000 plus 100 is 2,100. 160 plus 8 is 168. And now I'm just going to add them. 8 plus 0 is 8, 6 plus 0 is 6, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus nothing is 2, 2,268. And guess what? That then is my product, 2,268. Hey, what did we do? We just solved a two-by-two two step multiplication problem. Nice. Okay, so let's look at one more here. I'll just move through it a little quicker, but just to kind of cement it in our heads. 
All right. This one is 35 times 62. So we'll get another two by two digit. And I'm going to break it down in 35 into... Oh, stop that. I need to get my pin back. Let's go red this time. So we're going to break 35 down into 30 and 5. Okay. And then we're going to take 62 down and break it down into 60 and 2, just like that. Okay. And now we're going to multiply again. And I'm going to go just over and up. 60 times 30. Well, 6 times 3. Yeah, I lost it. Sorry. 6 times 3 is 18. Plus the two zeros. So it becomes 1,800. And now I do 60 times 5. Well, 6 times 5 is 30. And then plus the one zero at the end that I'd taken off, 300. And now I go do the same thing with the bottom row. And I go, but now I go 2 times 30. So over and up, 2 times 30 is 2 times 3 is 6, plus the 0, 60. And then 2 times 5, and 2 times 5 is just 10. Write it right there. And now what do I need to do again? I just need to add them all up. So I'm going to take, I like to add them up by rows and then add those two together. So 1,800 plus 300 is 2,100. Plus 60 plus 10 is 70. So now I'm just going to add them up. 0 plus 0 is 0. 7 plus 0 is 7. 1 plus nothing is 1. And then 2 plus nothing is 2. 2,170 is my product. Yes. 2,170. So the area model, I think, is a great way to do two-by-two two multiplication okay? because it really breaks it down for you, and you can see you're just repeating the same steps over and over again. So that's what I want you to give a try to with today's lesson. Try that two-by-two two multiplication using area model this way. I wish you well on your math journey. Good luck.